Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today, I am going to discuss about the FMA, that is a flight mode annunciator column 1 on PFD in detail, wherein all the auto thrust annunciations or FMA appear. So before we start, note two points. First point, when takeoff power is applied, that is a toga power or flex power, auto thrust gets armed. Okay. Second point notice, auto thrust gets active only when you pull back the lever to climb detent when both engines are available or when there is engine out if the thrust lever is pulled to pull back to the MCT detent. So I hope you are clear with both these points. That is the auto thrust active ranges for two engines from idle to climb and for single engine from idle to MCD detent. So this is the active range of auto thrust for both engines and engine out. So let's start our today's topic. So friends, we are going to discuss about all the FMAs which can appear in column one of PFD. Suppose this is PFD. Okay friends, so this is first column. This is second, third, fourth, and fifth. So, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So today we are going to discuss only about the first column. Okay. So this first column we'll be learning. In my previous session, for which I'll share the link below, we have discussed that the FMAs appear in three lines in these columns. Okay, friends. So, for the first column. Also, there are three lines, first line, second line, and third line. Okay, friends? So, in first line also, FMAs can appear in second and third, we'll discuss. So, note that, friends, in case of auto thrust annunciations in column one, only the first line and third line are used. The second line is not used for auto thrust annunciations. Okay, annunciations, I mean to say, uh, FMAs or modes. So, what we need to study is, the FMAs for the auto thrust which can appear in first line and third line. So let's start friends. So let's learn what all FMAs can appear in first line and third line. For today's session, I'm calling this area that is the first column, first line and third line as display. Okay friends. So I'm writing here as display. Okay. Display means on the on this display, that is the PFD display in this area, that is the column one, which FMA will appear and in which color and what does it mean? We will learn that now. So display means this. Next is color. In which color the FMA will appear? And third, what is the meaning? So we'll discuss these three things about each FMA. Okay, so let's go ahead. Man toga. Man toga. Okay, so remember that this FMA, it appears in the first line of PFT. So whenever it appears, it appears in which color? White. So I'll write here as white. Okay, so clear with the color? Next, it appears in white color. What does it mean? It means that the flight crew have applied the takeoff power toga. Okay, that is, if at least one of the thrust lever is set to the toga detent, this FMA will appear. And what about auto thrust? In this case, auto thrust gets armed. So note that auto thrust, that is ATHR. What happens to the auto thrust? It gets armed. Right? And what happens to the thrust lever? At least one, at least one thrust lever is set to toga detent. Okay, friends. So I hope you are clear with man toga. Next, 
man flex and along with this some numbers also appear x x so what are these these are numbers which number this is the flex temperature note that before you use the flex power make sure that you have entered the flex temperature on mcdu suppose you have entered 56 degrees celsius in the mcdu as the flex temperature then when you have done everything and you are going for the takeoff power once you apply the takeoff power and set at least one of the thrust lever to flex or mct detent then you will get this fma man flex and the temperature 56 degrees celsius and it appears in which color white okay so what we have noted here is at least if one of the thrust lever is set to the flex mct detent then this fma will appear and what about the other lever if one is in flex detent the other lever may be at the flex or mct detent or below it okay so we have clear what about the auto thrust in this case also auto thrust gets armed so auto thrust it gets armed and what is the key at least one thrust lever is set to which detent flex mct detent the other thrust lever is at or below the flex mct detent so i hope you are clear with man flex and the temperature okay so man flex appears in white color and temperature appears in blue color what does it mean it means that the auto thrust is armed and at least one of the thrust lever is set to flex mct detent and the other thrust lever is at or below the flex or mct detent next man mct okay so this fma it appears in white color okay it also appears in white color in the first line and whenever it appears what does it mean it means that the auto thrust is armed auto thrust armed and at least one of the thrust lever is in the mct detent at least one of the thrust lever is in mct detent and the other lever is at or below mct detent okay so what do you understand by this it means that when you hit the mct detent okay that time this fma will appear so at least one of the thrust levers should be at the mct detent and when any one of the thrust levers at the mct detent the other one should be at or below the mct detent so then this fma will appear normally what we do we put we put both the thrust levers at the mca detent and this fma will appear okay friends this is when flex temperature value is not there in the mcd next man thrust okay so this fma also appears in white color in pfd column one in the first line okay and what does it mean it means that the auto thrust is in which state auto thrust is in the armed state okay and this appears in two cases first case when both engines are operative note that friends your lever should be at the which detent climb detent so if your levers if your both thrust levers are not in the climb detent anyone is moving ahead of the climb detent then man thrust will appear and it will be in white okay and the other case is if you are on engine out then your thrust lever for the live engine obviously will be in the mct okay and if that thrust lever is above mct then this fma will appear man thrust in white color okay as discussed auto thrust will be in the armed state and the most advanced thrust lever 
is a path climb detent is above climb detent for two inches that means and not at the detent or for the live engine the thrust lever is above MCD and not at the MCD detent okay friends so I hope you are clear with man thrust so this man thrust when does it appear it appears in case of first case for both engines for both engines when the thrust lever is above the climb detent for single engine when the thrust lever is above MC detent and not in the detent in both the cases it appears in white along with an amber box okay in all other cases white box will be there okay so in these three cases the box which will be enclosing the FMA will be in which color white but in this case the FMA will be which color amber box will be appearing like this okay so this so these three FMAs will be enclosed by a white box whenever they appear and this will be enclosed by an amber box whenever it appears okay friends next let's go ahead thrust MCT it appears in green okay so whenever this FMA appears in the first line what does it mean this FMA appears when your auto thrust is in the thrust mode and the most advanced thrust lever is in which detent friends flex MCT detent okay in case of engine out so here in this case auto thrust is active okay your auto thrust is active and it's in which mode thrust mode as written here THR that means the auto thrust is in thrust mode and the thrust lever is in which detent MCT thrust lever is in flex MCT detent okay so this is in case of engine out engine out so I hope you are clear with this so thrust MCT this FMA will appear whenever your auto thrust is active and in the thrust mode and your thrust lever is in MCT detent in case of engine out okay now let's discuss about other FMAs like thrust MCT we have thrust climb so friends I'll just erase this and I'll continue with the other FMAs so next FMA which we are going to discuss is thrust climb CLB so this FMA it also appears in the first column first line and it appears in which color green color okay friends when does it appear okay it appears whenever your auto thrust is active auto thrust is active auto thrust is active and is in the thrust mode okay so THR means it is in the thrust mode and what about your thrust levers your thrust levers are in the climb detent in climb detent okay friends so this FMA it appears green in color and appears whenever your auto thrust is active and the most advanced thrust lever is in the climb detent generally both the levers are in the climb detent next THR IDLE thrust idle okay so this FMA also appears green in color and when does it appear it appears whenever auto thrust is active auto thrust is auto thrust is active and commands the idle thrust and commands the idle thrust okay friends so this FMA thrust idle appears in the first line first column of PFD and it appears whenever the auto thrust is active and commanding idle thrust 
Okay, let's go ahead. Next is first lever. This FMA it appears green in color on the first line of PFD column one. And when does it appear? It appears whenever the autothrust is active. Autothrust is active. And both the thrust levers are below the climb detent. This, in, this is in case of both engines operative. Or in case of engine out, if the thrust lever for the live engine is below MCT. Thrust lever appears in green in the first column, first line of PFD, whenever the auto thrust is active. And for both engines, thrust lever is below climb detent or for engine out thrust lever is below MCT detent okay so remember that friends this appears whenever both thrust when, whenever the auto thrust is active and both for both the engines the thrust levers are below climb detent and in case of engine out thrust lever is below mcd detent i hope you are clear when this fma will appear next let's go ahead speed or max when do you get this FMA? It can be either speed or it can be MAC. So it appears in which color? Green. Okay. It appears in green color on the PFD column 1 first line whenever the auto thrust is active and is in the speed mode. So this appears when auto thrust is active and in speed mode speed or max mode okay friends so remember that auto thrust has three modes okay so thrust mode speed mode and retard mode okay we'll discuss about this we'll discuss about auto thrust modes in detail in my other session in this session we are just learning about all the annunciations which appear in the first column of PFD. Hence, we are not discussing about the auto thrust modes here. We are just discussing about the FMAs which can appear for the auto thrust. Okay. So let's go ahead. Now, the next FMA which we are going to learn is alpha floor. That is A floor. So this FMA also appears in the first line, first column of PFD. In which color? Green. It appears green in color, but it is enclosed within an amber box so this box will be amber in color and when does it appear it appears whenever the alpha floor conditions are met so whenever the alpha floor conditions are met when the aircraft reaches the alpha floor angle of attack then the engines will automatically start producing the toga power and why is this happening because of the alpha floor condition being met so what happens in this case is the auto thrust available yes auto thrust is active and command toga power when alpha floor conditions are met okay so when does this fma appear friends alpha floor it appears in the pfd column one first line in which color green color and closed with an amber box and when does it happen it happens whenever the alpha floor conditions are met in this case auto thrust is active it automatically commands toga power okay and when it commands toga power the aircraft nose will start coming down so as the aircraft nose starts coming down what happens is your aircraft is out of alpha floor condition then this a floor this fma it will disappear from the pfd column one first line and what will appear toga lock 
which is the, our next FMA, Toga Lock, LK. This also appears in green, but this is enclosed within an amber box. Okay, friends. So when does it appear? It appears whenever the alpha floor conditions are no more there. Okay, and let's write about this. This appears when auto thrust is active. And toga thrust is locked. Okay, toga thrust is locked. Alpha floor conditions are not met. Okay, friends. So let me summarize, friends. When alpha floor conditions are met, your engines automatically start producing the toga power. That is, alpha floor conditions are met, alpha floor will appear initially. So when alpha floor condition is over, if you see your engines, they are locked in the toga power. Okay? But your aircraft is out of alpha floor condition. Hence, toga lock FMA will appear here in the uh, first line of PFT. And it will be boxed amber in color. So I hope you are clear with this. So friends, till now whatever FMAs I have discussed with you, all those FMAs prior to this which I have written on the board and these ones, all these appear in the first line of PFD here. This is the first line. Okay. Now, what about second line? The second line does not exist on the PFD. We have discussed second line does not exist or is not used for the auto thrust annunciations. Just have a look at this. Now I'll erase this and I'll discuss all the FMAs which appear in the third line of PFD. Now so we'll be discussing about all the FMAs which appear in the third line of first column of PFD. So let's start. So one of the FMAs LVR CLB that is the lever climb. Okay, so this FMA it appears white in color and it is flashing also. Okay, it used to flash white in color on the third line. Okay, so I'll just write here it appears white. So, what is the meaning of this lever climb? It means that the system is requesting the pilot to pull back the lever to the climb detent. So, this is applicable only in case. When both engines are available and you have crossed the thrust reduction altitude after takeoff, then this lever climb flashes white in color on your PFD column one third line. Okay, so this is a like a reminder to you asking you to pull back the lever back to the climb detent. Okay, the system is requesting, requesting thrust levers. To be pulled to which detent? Climb detent. Okay. In case of both engines. Both engines. In case of both engines. When? When the aircraft has crossed thrust reduction altitude. Okay. So after takeoff, when you have crossed the thrust reduction altitude, that means when you are above the thrust reduction altitude, this FMA will automatically appear on the PFD third line in white color and it will flash. So once you put both the levers to climb detent, then this FMA will disappear. Next, lever MCT. Okay, this FMA also appears in white color and it used to flash as like this as like the lever climb FMA in the third line. Okay, so whenever it is flashing, what does it mean? It means that the system is requesting the pilot to pull back the lever to MCT detent. Okay, after you have done takeoff and you are above the thrust reduction altitude. Okay, so it is requesting, so it is requesting the thrust levers to be pulled to its detent, flex. 
MCT detent. Okay, this is in case of engine out. Engine out when above or when you have crossed the thrust reduction thrust reduction altitude. This FMA and the condition which I have told you it is applicable when your speed is above the green dot speed. So this lever MCT memo it appears white and it flashes whenever you are on engine out condition and you have crossed the thrust reduction altitude or you are above the thrust reduction altitude. So that time this memo that time this FMA will appear. When will it disappear? When you pull back the lever to the MCT detent. So you have done toga takeoff and you have pulled the lever to the MCT detent then this FMA will disappear. Okay friends. Next, let's discuss about other FMA that is LVRASYM lever asymmetry. Okay, it appears amber in color. Okay, and whenever it appears amber in color, what does it mean? It means there is a lever asymmetry. Okay, and this FMA will appear only in the case when both engines are available. That is, that is when any one of the lever is at climb or MC detent and the other one is not at this detent. So I'll just write it down here. Lever asymmetry appears in amber whenever. So this is applicable in case of both engines available. Both engines available. Okay. And in which case when any one of the lever, any one of the thrust lever is in climb or MCT detent and the other lever is not at this detent. Okay, suppose these are two levers, this is in climb, the other one also should be in climb. Okay, so if one is in climb and the other one is not at the climb, then lever asymmetry will appear. Or suppose Again, let's take the case of both engines. Suppose one is in MCT, the other one is also in MCT. If one is in MCT and the other one is not in MCT, then lever asymmetry will appear. I hope it's clear now. Next, let's go ahead. Thrust lock. This appears amber in color and it used to flash in amber. Okay, in amber. When does it flash? So whenever you have disconnected the auto thrust using FCU, remember that friend, on the FCU that is flight control unit, there is an auto thrust push button key. If you press that button when the auto thrust is active, then the auto thrust gets disconnected. So when it has been disconnected in this way, which is not a standard technique, then thrust lock, this FMA will appear in the third line in amber color and it will be flashing. It means that your thrust of the engine has been locked in the last power it was producing okay before you have disconnected the auto thrust so i'll just write down here when does the thrust lock appear in amber and flash it appears whenever the auto thrust is disconnected using fcu Okay, so when it has been disconnected using FCU, this FMA will appear. And what is the effect on the engine power? The thrust power will be locked. The last thrust will be locked. That means the thrust will be frozen. Okay, so as your thrust is frozen or locked, hence you are getting this thrust lock. Okay, and what will be the position of your thrust lever at that point of time? In case of both engines, your thrust lever will be in the climb detent and in case of single engine or engine out, your thrust lever will be in the MCT detent. So I hope you are clear why do you get this FMA. So you get this FMA because you have disconnected the auto thrust from the FCU, your engine thrust has become locked and you are getting this thrust lock. Okay. So in these three cases, lever climb, lever MCT and thrust lock, in these three cases, Whenever these FMA appear in the third line of PFD, okay, they will be flashing. And along with this, the master caution, that is the attention getter on the glare shield, they will also flash 
and a single chime will repeat after every five seconds okay but the flashing of the master caution and the single chime coming after every five seconds along with these two flashing will appear only if both the thrust levers are below climb detent and here when the thrust lever is below mct detent so friends i'll just summarize the topic what we have discussed is we have discussed all the fmh which can appear in the first column of pfd in the first line second and third what we have discussed is we get fmas for the auto thrust annunciations only in the first line and third line on the second line we don't get any annunciations related to the auto thrust next in the first line we have discussed about certain fmas okay and in the third line also we have discussed about certain fmas i hope you are clear with all these fmas i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session if there is any doubt in today's session do comment below i'll be happy to help till then you enjoy learning this and thank you